It's so much more than just winning. It's the things that she teaches us. You know, she doesn't just teach us about softball on the field, um, but she teaches us about life lessons. One of the biggest things I've learned from Coach Newberry is without question, perseverance. Um, somebody who's been through breast cancer not just once but twice and surviving and still carrying on and being able to do the great things that she does um, for this softball program, for this community, for this college. Um, she's so much more than a softball coach. Um, she's without question a great role model and she deserves to be in the Hall of Fame for more than just winning. She not only teaches us uh, morals of the field, she teaches a lot more about morals of life and uh, that's just no no words can ever explain how you actually feel when you find out something like that. She led the path in my life. I mean, she really has the way that things have panned out for her, for me, the opportunity for me to come back, finish my education here at Muskingum, um, is such an honor. When something tough happens in life, I feel like I'm better better prepared to handle that because she is tough on you and she she is realistic. I mean, she's not beating around the bush when she's yelling at you at practice or even in a game. She's, you know, if you're not if you're not getting the job done, she's going to tell you you're not getting the job done. And, and <clears throat> I mean, there's times when she said, if you keep pitching like this, we're going to lose. And and things like that where you have to get your mind back in the game. That helps you in life because you can you can recompose yourself and and move on from that and have someone tell you that yeah, that's how it is. It's one of the things that she said that has really stuck with me is that you should never be satisfied with what you've accomplished because if you become satisfied, you'll never get any better. And I think I carry that with me um, now um, as a teacher. Um, I never become satisfied with what I've done. I always want to, you know, do something more. Well, my freshman year I came in, kind of, I'm sure, like, almost all the freshmen come into Muskingum, you know, you come from a program where you're pretty much the best person on the team, and you come here, and she's definitely quick to let you know that you're not the best person on her team, and um, for the first two years it was a struggle because she was writing me, and I was just like, man, I can't, I can't make this lady happy, and I tried so hard, and she just kept writing me and writing me and pulling me out in the middle of the inning. Um, and you know, at, that, at those moments, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I didn't think I could handle it any longer. I was just like, I'm done, I'm done. But I wasn't gonna let her win. And um, you know, looking back over it, that's my best, probably the best decision I've ever made because the past, you know, after I got over that hump and realized that she was just trying to help me, our relationship grew. And right now, our relationship, I don't think, you know, obviously there's room to grow, but um, what we have now is great and I wouldn't, you know, want that to change. It was it was difficult, and a lot of kids couldn't couldn't have probably went through what I went through. But I'm really glad that she did that because it made me stronger as a person. It's all about discipline. Um, you know, she expects a high amount of discipline from her players, and she also, you know, has a high amount of discipline for herself. And so, you know, I think it's, it just comes natural with being disciplined and working hard, and you know, committing to one goal, and that goal being winning. A lot of it is the respect that she that she demands and that she earns from her players. Um, her obviously her <coughs> records and and the preceding years that speaks they, they speak for themselves and we all understand that. But at the same time, we understand too that this team is kind of like her family. This is this is her life and it's almost like she is our mom. We don't we don't want to disappoint. We want her to be proud of us in every in every aspect, not just softball and how how we run our lives and when. She, when she is proud of us, then and we feel good about, our, about ourselves too. She's extremely intense, not just in games, but in practices, and you develop this um, this thick skin. You know, she teaches us about mental toughness. I used to think, why do we run so much in softball when you only have to go 60 feet? But now I know that it's because she's teaching us mental toughness. You know, all of those conditioners that you didn't even think you could take one more step, but she expected you to run another mile. Um, like that's how I developed my mental toughness because she taught it to us through practice. Every practice was gut-wrenching. My freshman year was really difficult to adjust because I didn't come from a yelling coach ever in high school and to come to Coach Newberry, it was a different experience but I learned to deal with it because she taught me how to deal with it. it takes so much you know strength internally and externally obviously to get through um, something like cancer you know not once but twice and it, it's just remarkable that she puts 
her work before, you know, she never lets us, she never brings that to the field. She doesn't ever let it show that she's down or feeling, you know, down about anything. And that's another thing that I respect her for. After I got out of here, you know, I had a lot, a lot more self-confidence in myself. You know, because I learned to deal with things myself and, you know, not rely on other people. The amount that she knows about the game of softball down to its core is unbelievable, something that you can't even fathom. And you can ask her questions ask her questions all day long and there's not one that she can't answer. She knows that rule book from heart. I think she can re rewrite every word of it without even looking at it. Um, but to have somebody that can teach you that much that you can carry on a life with you is, is tremendous. I've interviewed with some colleges for coaching jobs and you know when I, one of the first things they say is oh you play for the walking legend you know and that's a great feeling to know that you had the opportunity to play under such such a great coach and not only a great coach but a wonderful person I feel like you know at a time when you know you think she might retire sh she's just not going to and you know when she starts having you know issues with you know the fighting the dog's gone, that's when she's going to know, and I think for her that's not going to be ever, and you know, if it does come like that, she'll know when it's time, and obviously right now it's definitely not anytime soon.